here's what a graph looks like on a unit that has recently developed problems. You can see the graph trends where it needs to be on the 21st and then looks like right around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. on the 21st it went into a defrost and it did not fully recover and it started maintaining around 36, 35. Whereas before we had a swing between like 29 and 34. We like to see much tighter graphs like you see on the right side where it is averaging around 36. That's a real nice tight graph. I'd like to see it that tight around the 34 or 33 temperature. So it's in a state of notice right now. We did have an alarm for it. Or no, it wasn't an alarm, a notice. I don't know if it alarmed and they cleared it. That's possible, but we do have notice for it. Looking at everything else here, we got a 20% receiver level, 448A running at 146 PSI. You can feel the line. That's, that's kind of cold. I wish it wasn't so dang cold. We want our liquid line to not be so freaking cold. We'd like it to be at least 80 degrees. But it's maintaining suction set point, so that's fine. And let's look at our other cases. All of our other cases seem to be holding set point perfectly. B14 just came out of defrost a little bit ago. That's why it's up at 42.3. 42.13. But that one should be going down, it is. Everything else is holding set point within a degree. All right, so this is my B9 circuit. You can open the doors on them, that's nice. That's a lot of ice, guys. What's this tell us? I got the valve off, so it's gonna start to start defrosting. But I'm gonna have to get hot water. So if you look around your, your surroundings here, you can find ways to do this. This is the kind of exactly adapter that I need. It comes straight from the sink with hot water from a hose. So this outlet's going to get pressure regardless of whether this is open or not. So as soon as you crack one of these open, it's going to start pushing hot water. And this water should be pretty hot. And by the way, your, your sliding doors come off. The water here at this store was not as hot as I would have liked it to be, but it worked, I guess. It was better than cold water. The middle case was the worst. It was fully iced up. This is the case when you're facing the unit from the customer side. This is the, the evaporator on the right, all the way on the right. And only like, you know, 20% of it was froze up. So here I've gotten the the one to my left right there and this one which is the middle both of those are ready 
So I'm just putting the screws in. They have five screws each. One in each corner and then one more up in the top right corner. And then the fans just, they just slip right in. Real simple. And see again here, this one is just barely froze up, kind of by the inlet. Looks like, I don't know, it might be a refrigeration problem, possibly, because it's freezing up on all the uh, TXVs near the inlet side. So I'm just including this, it's in high speed, so y'all can see really everything that's involved with it. Taking the doors off, putting them back on. Uh, now I'm putting the fans back in right here at this point, the fan assemblies. And now I'm going to plug all the fans in and put all the bottom covers on. And then next is going to be this last this shelf I took out. And then finally this. Okay, it's all defrosted now. Time to go watch the E2. Also got a thermometer here. And well, it was doing good, but now the stupid thing went into frost. That's stupid. It doesn't need to defrost. There we go. 